Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, first and foremost, hope everybody's doing well. Um, I know the circumstances for class this summer aren't necessarily the most most ideal in the world, but um, you know we'll, we'll we'll certainly make the best of it. Um, so this video uh, that I'm uploading to the YouTube channel is just strictly kind of focusing on just kind of walking through an explanation of the syllabus. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free and um, you know leave a comment in um, Google Classroom, not YouTube, just because I know they always tell you not to look at the comments in YouTube. So of course I'm new to the YouTube stuff, so um, you know it is what it is. Uh, we all got to be adaptable learners, right? So um, that's not exclusive just to you guys. That that goes for us as well. Um, but just kind of walk through the syllabus. Um, the class runs from June 1st, which is this coming up Monday to the 26th. Um, Mr. Bustle is our summer school coordinator, and you can see his emails on there as well. Um, and, and he is, you know, he, he functions as the administrator for summer school. So if there are issues um, that arise that maybe I can't address for you, um, I would defer to him and um, just kind of get his, his input and, and his decision uh, from there. Um, also, of course, myself, as well as uh, a lot of you may or may not know him, uh, but Mr. Campbell, who was also um, hired as the replacement for Mr. Sweetwood, who's retiring in uh, the middle of uh, the year. And he will also be teaching uh, Mrs. Haas's classes for the first semester because, of course, she will be on maternity leave. Um, so you can see that the, both of our emails are there. So if you contact us um, you know, via email, that's a, a, another way to communicate. Uh, we do have an optional text. Uh, we just provided a link to it. It's a free free book that's online. Uh, you can use that for reference material, usually only. I mean, every all the material that you're going to get for this class will come directly from uh, Mr. Campbell and myself. So uh, when it comes to that, um, you know, you don't necessarily need that, but it is a reference work for something that maybe you don't understand or, you know, obviously I'm not going to, Mr. Campbell or myself aren't going to be around, uh, to really, uh, walk you through maybe a concept or something like that. That's going to be something that, uh, you're going to have to take the initiative to, to kind of figure out. Um, we are available like hours wise, uh, we are available for zoom meetings. Um, yeah, I put, you know, that's an arbitrary hours between 10 and 1 PM Monday through Friday. Um, but if there are issues, concerns, I know some of you guys might be working that doesn't jive with your work schedule, you know, so on and so forth. Um, just, you know, let us know we're pretty flexible, you know, um, and we'll be more than happy to schedule something, uh, that will, will work for you. So not a problem, uh, included just a sample there. Um, so I, I, if I'm looking, I'm actually looking at the syllabus on my screen. So that, that's why I'm not looking at the camera or whatnot, but, um, it blows a sample week, uh, what you will see. Um, so just for this coming up Monday, you know, we will be introducing the unit, um, the driving question. I want you to, to subscribe to this YouTube channel, which hopefully you've already done that. Obviously, if you're watching this. Um, and then go over the material that I'll post to Google Classroom because um, I'll post all of the material for the entire unit. Um, but, uh, you know, on a daily basis, right? And, and I do that just in case some of you guys don't need a lot of direction. You don't need a lot of input from me and you'll be able to work through this stuff at your own pace. Um, but, um, you know, every, every morning or so I will post um, another just explanation and direction kind of video. Um, or I'll also be using Audacity, too, um, for some of the articles and things like that to give you audio recordings, um, too. That will be uploaded to your Google Classroom page because that will be the platform we're going to use primarily. So I would certainly suggest, um, you know, if you don't have experience with that, which I kind of doubt, um, you get, you're get you going to get used to it real quick. Um, so then uh, for Tuesday, um, that's Federalism Day 1, which Federalism is the unit. Um, that's the title of the unit. Uh, for the most part, um, there's a Google slideshow. <laughs> also, there'll be some interjections from my dog, Otis, as you can see here. Um, he likes to, oh yeah, hi buddy. He likes to interject himself in the videos too, but that's okay. You'll, so you'll get, you'll probably see a little bit of this, this handsome fella uh, from time to time. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. Okay. okay. Um, so um, for Federalism Day 1, uh, there'll be a Google slideshow um, that will be uploaded there. Um, and I will upload an Audacity file like a lecture, um, so that way as you're scrolling through, 
um, that particular unit or that particular PowerPoint, um, you'll be able to get my, like, if you were sitting in a class kind of lecture style of, of a PowerPoint. Um, there will also be some video based activities that you'll see in there. Um, and, and that'll be pretty clear, you know, cause I'll say that in the actual PowerPoint and in the lecture that, Hey, this is where you need to, to watch the video, or this is where you get out an extra sheet of paper and answer a question for me. Okay. Um, <coughs> And essentially, that, that that's going to be the first two days. will be Tuesday, Wednesday, because the slideshow is about 20 slides. Um, and then there are a couple of activities embedded in it. Um, so I'm going to give you, um, you know, those couple days to do that. Um, of course, more explanation will be coming forth. Um, then you can kind of see there uh, the Thursday this is day three, where you'll have a Supreme Court case extension activity. And then on Friday, that's where uh, we would, uh, rec rec well really encourage you to start the assessment. Of course, the assessment material is already gonna be uploaded along with an example um, of the assessment too. So again, some of you guys can get started on that, you know, much earlier than Friday. Um, and then again, some of you are gonna get started much later than Friday, uh, which I would, of course, um, you know, definitely as a tip, just a, a thought coming to my head here, time management is gonna be key for you guys, right? I mean, you're gonna to need to kind of stay on top of that stuff um, so that way you don't get behind. Um, because, uh, this course generally is, uh, in the, in the semester, or I'm sorry, in the summer version, it's five days a week, three hours a day. So you can expect the same level of rigor, um, as if you were, you know, taking that class in a three hour block of time. Um, I'm just going to read through the course description for you. Uh, this course in American government emphasizes structure and functions of federal, state, and local government. The student's role in a democracy is determined through relationships with citizenship, political parties, elections, interest groups, and public opinion. The state-required examination in American government and citizenship also forms part of the course requirement. It goes without saying that, that a stable online access is required for this course unless there are special circumstances. The goal. The goal of this course is for you to recognize that diverse perspectives arise from diverse circumstances. That means past, present, and future. And that civic engagement, that means your participation and contributions to the class, is built on a foundation of compromise. With the intent of reconciling these different perspectives and opinions to address issues facing the community, state, and nation through respectful discourse. And we can really think of no better goal um, for you during this uh, very interesting time that we live in, of course. Um, also, just as a special note, we will still always be adhering to your PTHS handbook um, and all expectations set by the summer coordinating administrator and course instructors are expected to be followed. And any issues that arise, we will deal with that on a case by case basis. Um, so in an evaluation standpoint, so just kind of following the, if you're looking at the syllabus, just kind of following along, 90% of your final grade will be based on three major categories. That's the project-based assessments, because we won't be doing mastery manager, multiple choice assessments, guys. That just, that doesn't work in this kind of environment, right? And, um, so that will be more project-based. Um, you also have received daily activities. That can be a question of the day. That can be a question about a video, an article, um, you know, any of those things. And also extension activities, such as Supreme Court cases. And then 10% of your final grade will be based on the overall final project. Um, and that will be something that will get to you um, within the first week of the class. I actually will explain to you what that final project is going to be, along with an example as well. Um, so again, those of you that want to um, get started on that already can. Okay. Um, some expectations. Uh, you'll need to complete some type of activity question of the day, extension, or learning activity every single day. Um, remember that this class, I've already said this, but remember this class was originally three hours a day, so you can expect that same rigor to reflect that type of environment. Um, there will be no late penalty um, for late daily work, so we are not going to penalize you for that. Um, there will be a 10% deduction for turning in any of your summative assessments late, though. So that is that when we say, hey, guys, this is the unit assessment, that's what I mean when I say summative assessment, okay? That means it's a summation of the unit. So um, we will be putting in zeros, though, if you do not turn in the work when it's due, right? So you turn it in, or you don't turn it in, I should say, um, and I go through, grade it. It's not uploaded to Google Classroom yet. I'll put in a zero. 
you fix that by temp turning in the work. Okay. Um, and you know, I will give you that, that, that timely response as well. Um, again, this goes without saying, but be respectful. We'll be handling some controversial topics. So you'll need to be mature. Um, and that will come in the form of online discussion, you know, things like that, where you may have to respond to a student's comment or something like that in Google Classroom. Um, and those things are going to be done respectfully. And of course, myself and Mr. Campbell will be, and Mr. Bustle will be the judge of that. So, um, we call a lot of things in my life, but, uh, being an unfair tyrant has not been one of them. So I think I'm a pretty good judge of that, uh, when it comes to that. It's also a civics class, so um, I'm also very big on the First Amendment, so I want you guys to feel comfortable enough sharing your opinions, whether they're controversial or not. But at the same time, uh, you will learn the delicate art and balance of being respectful while doing that. Okay. Um, again, you have questions about class email, um, email or message or text. We actually did include our cell phone numbers there. So that is uh, Mr. Campbell's number, and that's my cell phone number. Um, of course, I don't have any of your numbers or anything like that, unless you maybe play football. Um, but um, as far as that goes, you can text me. Just be respectful of our time, too. You know, uh, like I say in there, um, probably texting your teacher after 8 p.m. any day of the week is probably not appropriate, inappropriate, because um, we're, we're not doctors. We're not on call 24-7, so uh, we have, have lives as well. Um, so if you do text or have a question after, don't expect a response until the next day, basically. All right, grade scale. We are going to follow the PTHS grade scale. I do want to highlight one thing on the syllabus, though. As you can see, anybody that, that might fall into the uh, category of failing, um, you can see that that will not be counted as an F. Uh, what will happen, though, is you will receive what's called a no count, and you will not receive credit for the class. You have to have credit for this class to graduate, okay? So that would just essentially mean that um, if you did fail, you would have wasted a month of your time and mine, um, and uh, you will just have to repeat the class in the semester long version. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. And I can tell you that this is my seventh year doing this. Um, you got to try. I mean, if, if you fail this class, you, you, you earned it. You earned that failure. Um, I have had, I think, three students in seven years um, do that, um, and they had to repeat the class in the come the fall. So it is what it is, but I don't expect that to happen for any of you. Um, at least looking at my roster, I recognize a lot of your names. Um, and uh, generally speaking, those of you who choose to take a summer online class or a summer course period are pretty self-motivated to, to, to get the job done. So that's not something I'm terribly worried about. Um, there is a course outline there for you where uh, we give you each unit and we tell you what the driving questions and like essential supporting questions that are going to go along with that. Um, so you can see each unit. So you've got, I'm just going to tell you the name of the unit. I'm not going to, you know, go through and I'm seeing, I'm kind of getting up there in time. So, um, you know, I don't want to like read every single question to you. Uh, but unit one, which is the delicate balance of democracy and the concept that the, the, the kind of um, unifying concept there is federalism. Uh, that will last from June 1st to the 5th. Then uh, Unit 2 um, will be Civil Liberties and Civil Rights. Uh, that will uh, go from June 8th to, to the 12th. Unit 3 is going to be the American political system and the unifying concept of republicanism. That will go from the 15th to the 19th. And then uh, your last week will be Final Project Week, where there won't be a content-based unit, um, but that is where you'll be working to finish your final project, which is the, like, final 10% of, hey, guys, guys, Priya, Priya, sorry, Priya, hey, quiet girl, hey, hey, the kids don't want to hear you bark, girl, yeah, okay, sorry, I got a golden retriever who likes to bark at anything that moves, yeah, you're a good girl, though, relax, so that will be final project week, and um, that's just going to be entitled civic engagement and American values, um, so you can see what the driving question there will be, and we'll give you a lot of explanation and detail as far as what that project should look like. Um, homework. Again, this is a junior, senior level class. And I think I might even saw a sophomore in there, which I'm fine with. Um, you know, if, if our, our guidance team feels like you can handle it, I support them 100% in those decisions. So, yeah, 
Um, I think I did notice maybe a sophomore in there, uh, which, hey, it is what it is. But this is a junior, senior level class, and you will receive homework via Google Classroom with instructions on how to complete the work with a due date, etc. cetera. Um, primarily, uh, you'll get those videos from me through the, my YouTube channel. Uh, Mr. Campbell will be using something called Screen Testify, which uh, syncs very well uh, with um, Google Classroom. I think, it, I think Google even might own it. So, um, and all of those platforms sync up to Google Classroom. Retake policy, just kind of the last thing with the syllabus video. Um, we'll be following the school's retake and relearning policy. And in addition to that, uh, we are going to allow you to make uh, corrections to all assignments based on our feedback. Um, so if you make the corrections that we ask you to do, you can recoup not just a portion, but all of those points. Um, and that is... That is it for the syllabus. So if you guys have any questions or concerns or anything of that nature, um, please let me know. Um, I would be happy to, you know, be happy to, to help you. Um, again, uh, I'll upload this document itself up to your Google Classroom page. And then if you have those questions, again, communicate with me through email, through text, um, you know, through Google Classroom, right? Those are going to be the ways to go. Um, Communication is going to be key. One last thing, guys, you got to communicate with us. I mean, that we're we're not mind readers, you know. Um, and if if you're struggling with something or if there's a question that you have, hey, just ask. You know, just ask. Um, I'm not perfect. Mr. Campbell ain't perfect. This is the first time we've ever taught like an online class like this. So all the material that you're going to see has been created by Mr. Campbell and myself over the last month, right? Um, so. When it comes to that, please understand that, um, you know, there's going to be some growing pains. Um, but, you know, I'll be patient with you and 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 uh, you reciprocate that same patience. Um, those of you who have had me in the past or know Mr. Campbell, um, we're more than willing to, to help you out and more than willing to, 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 you know, change on a dime if we need to, um, to fit extenuating circumstances like we live in today. Um, but again, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I hope we have a good, good uh, summer of civics. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free and uh, feel free and ask. All right, guys. Hope you're doing well. Talk to you later.